I think Little Miss Luann here has sauerkraut again. know what she has been eating this week but it has not been agreeing with her we just got you over this like two days ago so sauerkraut basically sauerkraut happens when something gets trapped in the uh, crop and ferments and it causes gas buildup and all sorts of issues so what we have to do is try to empty the crop and balance the pH. Yay for you. We get to do it again. Are you watching him? Getting him stink eye. Well, on the plus side, your room is already set up for you. So let's go. Okay, so this first part, not so fun. On me or the chicken, I don't think. But basically, um, like I said, I'm gonna need to try to empty her crop so we can get the... Will you stop? She's like eating food off the floor. We don't want you to eat food right now, okay? So we need to get the fermented gunk out. So we do that by making her throw up. Yeah, it's not fun. Is it? So it was a random place, but it was the best place I could find where you could actually see what I was doing and have a good place to prop my thumb without chicken knocking it over, or whatever. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold her by her feet, which doesn't hurt her at all. And in fact, it kind of makes her um, all that the red blood rushing to her head kind of makes her sleepy. Um, and then we're going to massage her crop to try to empty it. So. No, it's okay. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. There you go. All right, now her crop is right here on her right side. And we're just gonna massage it real good. It's not as full as it was last time, so maybe we caught it a little bit early. We're just gonna massage it around. And then I've kind of found that if I lift it up a little, sometimes it's easier to get it to come out. But like I said, it's not quite as squishy as last time, so it's not quite as full. Oh, that might have gotten some. Now, how did I know she had sauerkraut? She was just kind of standing funny, and chickens do this weird, like, they do this weird thing with their head to try to clear their crop when something is not passing correctly. And then when I picked her up and massaged her and felt her crop, it kind of feels like a sand-filled balloon or a water balloon. Really squishy, not really firm like a crop usually is when it's full. And you could also, you can kind of hear it gurgling and bubbling inside. Okay, not going to get any out of her right now, I don't think. We'll give her a break. If it gets worse, we'll try again later, and I will try to uh, show that to you. Uh, but for now, I'm going to put her in that cage in there, no food. And I'm going to make sure she has some water with apple cider vinegar in it. And that ACV will actually help to kind of balance out the pH in her crop right now, that is. Growing the wrong kind of bacteria. You've just been a troublemaker lately, haven't you? I think this is the third time this year that we've done this, isn't it? All right. Next morning, she's still a little squishy, so we're going to try this again. There we go. What are you doing? Well, she 
she has yuckies in her gut, in her belly, so I have to try to make it come out. She not opens her mouth. There we go. I found that kind of holding the crop up helps it to empty better. Just a gentle squeeze and kind of pulling it towards your feet. Usually in a healthy chicken, by morning the crop should be completely empty. Okay, there's more in there, but we'll give her a break. Um, obviously hers is not because she still has some kind of a blockage. So she's still got her water with the apple cider vinegar and the oil in it. The oil should help whatever it is clear. Let's keep massaging, vomiting, and getting her that water with the vinegar and oil and hopefully she'll pass it and get better. Did you hear that? <laughs> it's like a chicken burp. Yeah. Right here. Birds. Birds and chickens. Oh, right here. here Birds and ch chickens. check on Luann. Hey you, you can come out and see me. Um, last night when I checked her, her crop just felt like it had water in it. It didn't feel like it was backed up and um, squishy anymore. It just felt like water. Um, and she has been drinking water, so that's good. So let's see. Are you good? So she's hungry, wanting to eat. Let's see. Oh, I do not feel her crop at all, which means that it has emptied. That's exactly what we want. So it seems like she is good now. Are you all good? You just missed breakfast, so we'll get you something to eat before you go out. Something easy to digest. Okay. Stay in here for now. So, looks like we got her out of the woods yet again. Oh, my fingers are not for eating, you goob. So, that is how I treat sour crop. I'm sure there are other ways out there. Um, this is what I found has worked well for me, for her. It's not foolproof, nothing is. Um, just like with the um, crop impaction video that I did with Sunshine. Um, I don't know if I ever mentioned this, but back when we first got the ducks when we were really sick and everything, Sunshine actually got another crop impaction and ended up dying of it. So, um, like I said, it's not foolproof, but if you can catch it early and treat consistently multiple times through the day, that seems to have worked best. So, hopefully you never have to deal with it, but if you do, these are the tips, the ways that have worked for me, and I hope they work well for you too. I'm trying to convince Luann to follow me out here so she can go back with the flock. Come on, Luann. Chick, chick, chick. I have your breakfast here. She's just looking for stuff on the floor to eat. 
Anyways, um, I wanted to share with you that last night when I locked up the chickens, Josephine was not in the coop. I looked for her a little bit, but it was dark out at that point. So, um, I think either she had got out of the run and couldn't figure out how to get back in and roosted in the trees. I just couldn't find her because it was dark. And, or a hawk or owl might have taken her out of the run. So let's go see if she came back this morning. Come on, let's go. This way. Come on, Luanny. Let's go. Come on. I love this time of the morning when the sun is shining just like that. So pretty. Oh, Josephine! Tick, 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 tick! No sign of her yet. I just found her. Are you a poor thing? Are you okay? Oh, did you sleep under there all night, you poor chicken? I just came in here to get them some water because they had flipped over their buckets last night. And when I flipped this up, she was underneath. Who was? Josephine. I'm so sorry, Josephine. You poor thing. He was under the I didn't even think to look under the bucket. I didn't even notice the bucket was flipped over till this morning. Aw. Yeah, I just opened my camera. I was gonna record while I filled this and explain that she must have been taken because there's no sight or sound of her. But I guess she wasn't. Yay. So that's cool. I mean, not so cool that she spent the night under a bucket, but you know, that she's still alive. Yeah, I was about to conclude that a hawk or a fox, or not a fox, a hawk or an owl must have taken her because um, there was no feather trail so I knew it wouldn't have been a fox so glad it wasn't an owl or a hawk and she's okay put him in. But he is. He's hanging out with the tomatoes. I guess that explains who was eating that tomato that I just found on the ground with bites in it, huh? Pepper's perilous journeys continue once again. He is out and I'm having to chase him down through the woods. This is not fun. Poison ivy everywhere. Spider webs. Hey Pepper, you see how there he is. Hey Pepper. Oh, big poison ivy, let's go this way. You can like fall around here. Oh, 
This is our dead tree that needs to come out. This one and that one. And there's the barn. Okay, back to Pepper. Come on, Pepper. I just saw him. Where'd he go? Did he go around the fence? He must have gone around the privacy fence. Okay. That's fun. Pepper! Unless he snuck by me without me noticing. Pepper! Chick, chick, chick! I don't see him over there. Doesn't mean he isn't. Oh boy. Guess I shouldn't have stopped to look at the trees. This chick might be more trouble than he's worth. Hmm. Double. He did double back. Now he found his sister, so maybe he'll stay close to her so I can catch him. Or we're gonna go back up towards the front yard. Let's see. Got him. Went back towards the house a bit and then where salt was and then brought him back this way and here we are at the privacy fence again. And all these guys kind of found me. I started to go around the fence and Lucy Bell lost her mind. Where did you go? She almost honked. Now this little guy needs to be locked up. And it's a long way around. Well, I am out here um, at the hedgerow, or at least, you know, the start of the hedgerow. Uh, I don't know if you can see, the weeds are kind of grown up. Let's see, right here, right over there, it's hard to see on the camera. And then over there, there's three of those Norway spruce left. They're still pretty small, but still alive. Um, actually, it's just these two and the other ones in front of me. <laughs> So it's hard to see on here. Um, anyways, so I am actually going to be adding to this today. My friend with the elderberry farm actually brought me a couple of more plants. Wasn't that nice of her? So I'm going to be adding some elder plants to the hedgerow here on this side by the fence. Um, and yeah, we probably won't harvest from these for ourselves just because of being right next to this field and the spray off and stuff. Um, but it will, could be food for the wildlife and hopefully keep them away from our other crops. Here's hoping. Um, a fedge, they call it. Food, a food hedge for the wildlife. So, I'm getting these planted in here and then, yeah, there'll be one more layer on our hedgerow. Also, if you're wondering what on earth the hedgerow is, what am I talking about, then you can look at this video right over here. Well, I got two done. And then this one, I started running into roots, like big roots from this maple tree. So that one will work there, and it's actually starting to sprinkle, and I hear some thunder rolling in, so I guess I'll have to find a home for that one later.